New round of rain is a concern for communities already soaked from this last storm system. Good evening, I'm Christina Janes. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tony Lopez. CBS 13 Steve Large is live near Marysville in Yuba County with some safety measures in place as we get set for another round of wet weather, Steve. And let's begin by showing you over my shoulder. The flags are showing that the winds have already started to pick up, and next come the rains. In fact, days and days of rain on the way. That means lots and lots of work for Caltrans crews. It's a new five day flood watch following flooding in Oliver's this weekend that still has streets wet. When it comes down hard like that, it, it really gets us. Near Oliver's, so much water hit this section of Highway 70, a passenger in one car drowned when the driver drove into at least six feet of flood water. He was arrested for DUI. So much rain in such a short time, Caltrans drains and pumps couldn't remove it fast enough. This canal overflowed. So ahead of this next round of storms, the Office of Emergency Services brought in sandbags. Lots of sandbags. Stretching more than a football field along Highway 70. 3,500 sandbags are in place as a temporary safeguard for the rain on the way. And it's basically it was like a flash flood. You just got a lot of water coming down. Gilbert Moch Chan says Caltrans is monitoring all of its flood prone locations ahead of the next storm. Our pumps are working. There, we've shored up this area. It's just a matter of how much volume of, of rain. It definitely took me by surprise. Uh, I did not believe that it could get that deep in that location. Oliver's fire chief Wade Harrison was on scene at the highway drowning. Now his volunteer fire department is on alert ahead of the next round of rain. I informed the entire department to be prepared to keep your pagers on, and uh, if you hear something, come back. We need the help. The warnings are sent. Beware of dangerous downpours. More flooding is in the forecast. And just driving around, looking at the ground, so saturated that a lot of the fields in this particular area look like marshes, so it really won't take a whole lot of rain for the flooding here to begin. They've seen it before, but they're getting ready. Okay, Steve, live in Marysville tonight. Thanks. The Department of